Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My brother married my cheating ex, called me jealous. Now he's divorced, childless, and I'm left to say I told you so I was all for the notion that people change. But now I just have one opinion about that. Even the toughest criminals might change, but cheaters always cheat. My brother learned that lesson the hard way. He insulted me and didn't believe me when I said that his beloved wife was a cheater. It really is your own blood. How can I be so sure she's a cheater? She cheated on me. Her cheating stories get really wild and they're so hard to believe. I'm going to have to tell you the whole history. Tasha, 32F, my ex-girlfriend and now my brother's wife, I can say ex-wife now, cheated on me with my brother at the time. I told my brother she was a cheater and not to marry her. Tasha clearly married my brother for money and nothing else. He didn't listen, and I didn't go to his wedding which caused a rift between us. Now he wants to reconcile because Tasha is pregnant. My mom urged me to do so, so I listened to her and gave them a chance. It turns out she was still cheating. When she gave birth, the baby did not look like him, and he took a paternity test because now he's seen it with his own eyes. Let me explain in detail. I was really dumb when I was dating Tasha. I wanted a really hot girlfriend to show off to other guys. I was kind of a loser in high school, so the validation kind of meant a lot. I even spent a lot of money on a car to show off. Tasha was really, really paranoid all the time throughout the relationship. She kept checking my phone, calling up to see where I was. She stopped me from talking to any girls. I really badly wanted to make her feel secure, so I introduced her to my close friends and family. When my friend's friends saw saw her, they immediately told me that she was no good and to stay away. I was delusional at the time and thought they were just jealous of me. I didn't want to break my friendship over this. I kept defending her. I finally introduced her to my parents and my only brother Noah, 35. Noah is three years older than me but will still behave like a kid. I wanted to introduce her to my mom, 67F, my dad, 69M, and Noah. I invited her to our family weekend trip, and I thought it would be great for our relationship. I thought we'd get to spend an amazing time together at the beach. I was wrong. Tasha fought with me because she thought I was looking at another girl in a bikini. For the record, I wasn't looking at her. She slapped me and left to go somewhere else. I was angry, so I didn't follow her. After a while I started to get worried about her, so I went to look for her. I looked around for ages but couldn't really find her. My parents had gone to town to do some shopping. I went back to the beach house, thinking maybe she had gone back. To my surprise I saw Tasha and Noah half naked on the couch doing things I didn't want to see at all. I had a complete meltdown over the whole thing. Tasha said it's my fault, because it would have never happened if I hadn't looked at other women. I didn't look at other women, but I guess she thinks everyone is like her. My brother gave the excuse that he thought Tasha was not my type and that they would be happier together. I was furious at the whole thing and left. I couldn't let go of it at the time and, after a little bit of digging, I found out that Tasha had been flirting with multiple guys when she was with me. She would go out with them for fancy dinners and have them shop for her. I guess I was, was one one of, of those those guys too. I tried to warn Noah about her, but he wouldn't listen at all. I didn't pay much heed or try after that. I was still furious about my girlfriend cheating on me with none other than my brother. I knew she would cheat on him too, and he'd catch her one day. He'd feel how I felt at the time. Things didn't quite go that way. A couple of months later I got an invitation to their wedding. I was shocked that my brother was marrying someone he barely knew. That someone was a gold digger, a liar, and a cheater. At that point I knew that if I didn't stop the wedding, there would be consequences for my brother. I wanted to protect him from her and his heart being broken in the future. I collected all the evidence I had against her to prove that she had a track record of cheating. I showed them to my brother, and he said that Tasha had told him the truth. She just wanted to try out different men until she found someone perfect. She had told Noah that he was the perfect person for her, and then they decided to get married. Everything she said sounded complete and utter bullshit, but my brother was blinded by her love, and he actually believed her. Noah is a huge spender, and it doesn't really matter to us because we're doing quite okay for ourselves. Noah earns a substantial amount of money, but also has our parents to support him. We don't pay rent because we have our own apartments. My dad likes investing in real estate, so we have a huge amount of rental income, and we live in the apartments he owns. Life's been good for us, and I think Tasha wanted it too. I know she's a gold-digging bitch. She made Noah throw a grand celebration for their wedding. She spent a huge chunk of my dad's money on it. What's more scandalous is that she invited so many guys she was with to her wedding. Almost a quarter of the guests had slept with her. Others who came were her weird friends and my relatives. My family was not happy about the wedding. My mom just wanted her to be happy, but my dad hated her and was completely against the wedding. Her family didn't come to the wedding because they disowned her for some reason. I was invited, 
but I didn't go or participate in my own brother's wedding. My brother called me, begging me to come after I turned down the invitation. I told him that I wasn't going to come to my ex's wedding. Noah called me jealous and said I couldn't stand his happiness. That was the last time I spoke to him for five whole years. My mom recently called me and said he wanted to reconcile. I told my mom that he should reach out to me himself and that he shouldn't talk through her. She said she'd ask him to call me but begged me to give him a chance. I was reluctant about it, but I said that I would try my best. He then called me a couple of days later. He told me that Tasha is pregnant, and it's been five years, and they're still fine. He wanted to rub it in my face that I was wrong about them, and that Tasha turned out to be a faithful wife. He told me that I should put things aside and that we should reconcile to welcome the new baby. I decided to visit them, and they seemed like a happy and normal family. Noah took a dig at me for still being single and urged me to at least get a girlfriend. He thanked me for introducing him to Tasha and gave me credit for his happy family. The whole interaction pissed me off, and I was determined to prove him wrong. I was surprised the relationship lasted so long, so I tried to find some dirt on Tasha. Obviously I found out about a lot of her deeds over the past few years. They were not surprising at all. She has cheated multiple times on my brother. She's been checking into hotels with guys, and I had all the proof. I also had screenshots of texts from a guy called John, 40M, she ended on a bad note with. He shared with me screenshots of her texting other dudes too. He said that he didn't know she was married and that she used him for shopping and going out while her husband was out of town. I had found enough evidence to prove that Tasha was a cheater. Especially thanks to John. Tasha called me home one day and said that it was an emergency and she was alone. Since she was pregnant and I didn't want to leave her alone, I went to their house. She explained that Noah was at work. She told me she knows I've been asking all around about her. And that she'll sleep with me so I don't tell Noah her truth. She invited me to the bedroom, but I declined and left immediately. What happened next was unexpected. She lied to Noah, saying that I asked her to sleep with me and blackmailed her, saying that I would prove to Noah that she was cheating. I told Noah that no such thing happened, and she was the one who actually called me and offered to sleep with me, so I didn't tell Noah the truth about her. Noah wouldn't believe me at all. I tried to give him all the evidence that she was in fact cheating on him, but he was angry and didn't want to listen to a word I said. I kept trying to tell him through my mom and dad that she was cheating. Noah didn't want to listen to anyone. He got angrier that I tried to influence the whole family. Now my mom and dad knew about her deeds too, and my mom was really troubled about it. She didn't want Noah to be in a bad marriage, especially after they were having a kid together. My dad didn't care because he thought Noah was really stupid to be with her, despite all the signs telling him that she was a cheater. I knew Noah to be gullible as a child, but now he was being plain stupid. My mom tried to talk to Noah to explain to him that Tasha was not good for him. Noah thought that I influenced her, and now she believes Tasha is a cheater through phony evidence. Noah got pissed at my mom so to get him to talk to her. She gave in and decided to pretend to be convinced that Tasha is not a cheater. I distanced myself from Noah and his wife because there was no point in telling someone who didn't want to believe you. He was pissed at me anyway for seducing his wife. I got a call after a couple of months from Noah saying that Tasha was giving birth. Mom and dad were stuck in a different state, and their flights were canceled due to bad weather. Noah was in complete panic. I didn't know what to do either, but I was with him. The birth was a really long and complicated process, but in the end, Tasha and Noah were blessed with a baby boy. I was really happy for them at the time, but then I saw the baby, and something felt strange. The baby had a few features that neither Noah nor Tasha have, and they can't be genes. I saw the baby's eyes, and he kind of looked like he was switched at birth. He had eyes that resembled a baby of Asian origin. I'm trying to put this as well as I can. At the time I thought that maybe because it's a baby and all babies look the same kind of weird. On the inside something was screaming and telling me that the kid was not my brother. I visited them for a couple of days and the more I looked at the baby, the more obvious it was that the baby wasn't my brother's. I laughed because, at that point, I felt like I had won. The baby was huge evidence that Tasha was a cheater. I could see it on my brother's face that he knew it too because he'd been acting so strange lately. He has no emotional connection at all with the baby. A couple of days later, my brother came to my house and addressed the elephant in the room. He told me that he felt the baby wasn't his and that Tasha cheated on him. He also revealed that they were careful to use protection, but Tasha just gave the excuse that it failed. I took out all the evidence that I had collected and showed it to him. I proved to him that night that she'd been regularly cheating on him. Noah sobbed and wept the whole night, while Tasha kept calling him again and again because she couldn't deal with the baby alone. I advised Noah to do a paternity test to make things clear. 
When Noah did the paternity test, the results showed that he wasn't the father. Noah had a huge argument with Tasha. We were all there to witness it because Noah called us all so that he wouldn't have to fight alone. Tasha had nothing to argue about because she was clearly in the wrong. But she tried to be the victim by accusing Noah of not trusting her and doing a paternity test without her knowledge. She threw the biggest tantrum ever and started screaming and throwing stuff, scaring and waking up the baby. Noah decided to stay at mom and dad's house for a couple of days. He took the baby with him because he didn't trust Tasha to take care of him in such turmoil. I felt like Noah was kind of getting attached to the baby, and so were mom and dad. Noah sent Tasha the divorce papers, and she wasn't really ready to give Noah a divorce. At first, she completely denied the fact that she'd cheated and accused Noah of faking the DNA reports. After taking another test that proved Noah wasn't the father, she started giving stupid excuses for her cheating behavior. She tried to prove that the baby was conceived through IVF and that they had a sperm donor. She couldn't prove her claims, so the court granted the divorce on the grounds of adultery, but she got the child custody as my brother had no right to the child legally. She also demanded maintenance and child support. The court said that she couldn't demand child support because the kid wasn't Noah's and that she didn't deserve maintenance either. Tasha blamed the whole divorce on me and kept blowing up my phone. She also begged Noah to take her in because she had nowhere to go with the baby. My mom and dad offered to help her out for a couple of weeks until she could find accommodations and a job. I don't think she deserves my parents' pity, but what can I say? They're really good people. I still can't believe my brother could be so stupid and gullible as to marry Tasha. I know I shouldn't hold grudges, but I feel my brother is the asshole too, and he too got what he deserved. My ex-girlfriend cheated on me with my own brother. My brother married her despite my telling him not to. When I tried to convince him that she was still a cheater, he didn't believe me, but he believed that I tried to sleep with his wife because his wife told him so. I'm considering cutting ties with my brother because I'm still angry at him for all those things. The reason I still spoke to him all this time was that something in me wanted to prove him wrong and show him that his wife was a cheater and that I was right all along. I feel like my mission is accomplished, and I feel extremely satisfied that the truth is out. I sometimes find it funny, too. I want to rub it in his face, bring it up all the time, and see his face go pale. I know a lot of you might call me an asshole for feeling all this, but I just do. My brother wasn't less of an asshole to me, either. I really want answers on whether I should cut ties or move on but stay distant. Hello, people. I'm here to continue my last post about my brother and his cheating wife, who also happens to be my ex-girlfriend. Crazy, right? What's crazier is that she got pregnant by cheating, my brother divorced her, and she had nowhere to go. My mom and dad gave her one of their flats rent-free so she could stay until she found a job. The only reason they pitied her is because she had a baby with her, and it would be cruel to let her out on the streets. I knew that she would have slept her way into someone's house, but my parents are really nice. After the divorce, her lawyer advised her to find out the real father so he could pay for child support. She had no clue about the details of the baby's real father. She felt entitled enough to tell my mom to look after the baby while she went to search for a job. She would leave the child at my parents' house in the morning and would show up late in the evenings and sometimes in the middle of the night. Some nights she wouldn't even come home to pick up the baby. My mom had turned into the baby's full-time nanny. My dad was pretty mad about the whole thing, so he asked her not to leave the baby at their house. Hasha got furious and threw a whole tantrum. She called my parents selfish and unkind. She said she needed help and that no one was giving her a job. She called my parents inhumane for not wanting to help her out. My mom gave in and continued to take care of her child. My dad wasn't happy about it at all. No, I didn't want anything to do with it, but I wanted her out of my parents' lives because she was pestering them too much. I got involved to help her find a job, but what I discovered was shocking. Instead of looking for a job, she was at home the entire day with a new boyfriend who had moved in with her and was paying for her stuff. Her boyfriend worked at home and needed quiet so he asked Hasha to take the baby away. As soon as I found out the truth, I told my parents, and they refused to look after the baby. They also gave her a week's notice to leave the house and find a new place for herself. Her new boyfriend was just with her so he could live rent-free, so when Tasha asked him to find a house for them, he dumped her and ran away. Tasha left the house to live at her friend's C32F house. Since I had already invested my time in looking for a job for Tasha, I had found the role of a cleaner at a daycare. I chose that role in particular because they offered to take care of the baby while she was at work. Tasha took the job up because she was that desperate. The thing that satisfied me the most was seeing her as a cleaner. It's also very funny that she thought she would get knocked up with someone else's child and think no one would notice. She brought it all up for herself. I honestly have mixed feelings about her, 
I feel like she deserves the worst, but at the same time, I kind of feel bad about the baby and her being a single mom. I still hope she stops her cheating ways and raises the baby well. That's it for this time. Thanks for being hooked on the story. Thank you for all the comments supporting me. After reading all the comments, I decided that I wouldn't cut ties completely, but it wouldn't be the same as before Tasha came into our lives. I think he's completely ruined the bond we had. He's distanced himself from the whole family ever since the divorce, and I don't understand whether I should reach out to him or just let him be and leave him alone. Please share what you all think in the comments. Another update and continuation of the post about my brother's ex, who's also my ex. Thanks for all the guidance and support. I really didn't know who to talk to and your comments really put things into perspective. I reached out to my brother and thank God I did. He felt a certain shame for not believing me, and with the divorce and everything, he wasn't really doing well emotionally. I'm relieved I didn't cut ties and made an effort to mend the relationship. It took a lot for me because I was still angry about the whole thing. I think trusting your partner and sticking up for them is one thing, and blindly believing them and going against your whole family is another thing. At this point, I feel like I'm the older brother. Eventually, I did talk about my anger and resentment towards him for being the guy who my girlfriend cheated with. He definitely broke all the bro codes. He apologized and learned his lesson about not trusting cheaters. He also apologized for taunting me for being single. I had forgotten about a lot of things he did, but basically he was an asshole to me throughout these years. He's been like this ever since we were kids, but he crossed all the limits after marrying Tasha. As for Tasha, I thought she was doing really well, but it turns out she wasn't really good at cleaning at all. She slept with the manager, 47M, at the daycare and was promoted to a helper. She really didn't know anything about taking care of kids. She couldn't even take care of her own child properly. There were several complaints against her from the staff about how she treated the kids, but the manager wouldn't listen. Then they got complaints about her from the parents, so they had no option but to let her go. She begged them to let her stay, but it wasn't good for their reputation. The manager ended his relationship with her too. She was now jobless and desperate again. After a long search, Tasha finally found the baby's father, Kyle C39M. Kyle was a rich middle-aged Asian origin man who was also a cheater like Tasha. He was already married to a wonderful lady, Rita C37F, who must have been extremely heartbroken when she found out her husband cheated on her and he had a child. Tasha insensitively showed up at their doorstep. When Kyle denied having anything to do with her or the baby, she called the police on him and sought legal help. Kyle was asked to do a paternity test, which proved that he was in fact the father of the child. Rita couldn't conceive, so she decided that they would claim custody of the child. They fought a case in court, but Kyle wasn't really interested in keeping the baby, so they lost the case. Tasha, on the other hand, wanted the baby so she could claim child support and use it for her own needs. The court asked Kyle to pay child support to Tasha, and she received a huge sum every month. Her child would be taken care of the whole day at the daycare while she found a new guy to fulfill her needs. Tasha turned out to be worse than I ever thought she'd be. She's not going to stay pretty and young forever, and she really needs to get a career so that she's not dependent on anyone. Any sane guy would never marry her after what she's become. She swings from one guy to another for her own benefit, and one day she's going to end up in a lot of trouble. I just feel really terrible for the poor child. I hope she amends her ways because, for now, her life has become really easy. But I'm pretty sure that there are tough times ahead for her. My brother and I are just watching and hearing about her all the time. I love how everything in this town spreads like wildfire. She has a bad reputation now, and no good guy would want to be with her, knowing her gold-digging tendencies. The company she's in is not good, and I just hope it doesn't affect the baby. Hello everyone. Surprisingly, I have more updates on Tasha and her cheating, gold digging, and living like freeloader tendencies. As I predicted in my previous posts, she wouldn't really be in good company. Some guys are just not good and want to take advantage. I respect women who have an active sexual life, but she's the guy she's with are criminals and have really strong links to selling drugs. She currently lives with a guy, and she overdosed while taking drugs with him. I'm not going to go into details about what she was taking. She didn't have help for almost 20 hours, and her baby was left the kid managed to open the door and was roaming out on the streets. He almost got hit by a car when the neighbors spotted him and took him home to find Tasha unconscious, and they called the authorities. They had to put Tasha in rehab, and the child was taken by the child protection authorities. The kid was discovered to be exposed to high amounts of drugs and smoke that had really bad effects on his lungs at a very young age. Noah felt bad for the kid, so we tried to meet him, and they let us. The baby's father, whom I mentioned in my previous post, was contacted and was awarded custody of the poor child after checking if they could take care of him. 
My mom is kind of attached to him too, so she was worried sick. The child finally got care from Rita, who's a school teacher and loves children. She accepted the baby as her own and started to take care of him. What was even more surprising was that Rita filed for divorce from Kyle. She had all the evidence in the world through the baby that he cheated on her and went off to have another kid. She got a huge sum of alimony too. Thank God Rita divorced him because she doesn't deserve to stay with a cheater. Not only did Rita, but she kept the child with her. Rita legally adopted the child, and now she raises the kid as her own as a single mom. I think she's doing pretty well and I'm happy the kid has a good life. She also lets my mom meet him since she's so concerned and attached to him. My mom didn't really want to deal with Tasha's tantrums, so she never thought to reach out to her. As for Tasha, the overdose landed her in the hospital for a couple of weeks. She would have died if she had consumed more drugs that day or had not been found lying unconscious. The kid was malnourished and weak. He was hungry and had a severely soiled diaper on. He was almost going to be hit by a car and had been crying a lot. If the kid hadn't managed to open the door, it could have been too late for them. Tasha had to go to rehab for six months and had to pay a huge fine because if she didn't, she would have to go to jail too. My brother visited her out of pity because he thought she would be upset about losing her child. She doesn't care she was just upset about not getting child support from Kyle anymore, but she was happy she didn't have to look after the baby anymore. After getting out of rehab, Tasha went straight to Rita's house to discover that she had divorced Kyle. She took the opportunity and asked Rita for money so that she wouldn't take the baby away from her. Little did Tasha know that Rita had legally adopted the baby. Rita called the cops on her for threatening her with money and had a restraining order put up against her. She was warned that if she ever tried to meet the kid, she'd go to jail because she put the child in danger. I keep thinking about everything that happened. Tasha had a good life with Noah. If only she had changed and become faithful to him, her life would be so much better. I don't think there was any reason for her to cheat. I think she just likes attention from multiple guys at once because I'm pretty sure Noah was doing his best at giving her attention. Tasha ruined her own life, and she's the one who suffered in the end, but her actions affected her kid and Noah. I just wish she would have at least been careful enough to use protection and not ruin the baby's life. It was a good thing my brother found out she was a cheater through the baby, so in the end, everything was okay. Noah opened his eyes, Rita got a kid, and Tasha ought what she deserved. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.